There's a boy in the garden with a shovel and a spade. He's gonna dig himself a hole that's the biggest ever made. Boy in the garden, shovel and spade. Biggest hole ever made. I say, I know you're having fun. I don't want to make but if you dig any deeper, it could get dangerous. The title track, If We Dig Any Deeper, It Could Get Dangerous, um, the way that came about was that my son took a notion to dig a hole in the back garden, and he was going off every day out to the back, saying, I'm going out to dig the hole some more, Mom, and I'm, yeah, fine, off you go, and, and not really not really kind of monitoring the situation too closely and one day I suddenly realized that he'd been digging the hole in the back garden for about a month and a half and maybe I should go and look and and I went and looked and and, and he had it was an excavation basically there was um, a, you know <laughs> and 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 I said to him you know Eli um, if you dig any deeper it could get dangerous and it's my fifth solo album. It's it's actually the first one that I've recorded here in in Cornwall. My first three albums were all recorded in Ireland where I used to live and then the fourth one, Walking Into White, was recorded over in the States in uh, upstate New York with my cousin Adam Pierce producing. But when Michael Chapman offered to produce this one we decided we'd jump at the chance and uh, uh, we were talking about plans and I was talking about how I wanted to record another album and how I was planning on taking a year out from touring. Um, there's the pheasant. <laughs> we need to give him a name. Bob. Um, I, I was explaining how I was planning on taking a year out from touring to just focus on making, on writing and recording a new album. And, uh, and he said, oh, where are you going to do it? And I said, I don't know yet. And he said, well, why don't you let me produce your next album? So I've been looking after the production end, which is basically the producer of a record is like the director of a film. You know, the producer of a film puts the money up. The director makes sure it looks the way he wants it to look. Well, then, and my job here is to get it to sound like I want it to sound. And also to get more out of Sarah than maybe she thinks is in the tank. It's so important to work with a, a producer and with a produ somebody like him who can, like, just little things that you that you wouldn't think of yourself, like um, stretching a syllable instead of cutting it off. You know, so it could be something as simple as that, or or it could be putting another section into a song, or you know, it, 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 the the songs always change when you're. In studio, recording them, and uh, which is which is why I, I kind of generally try to avoid gigging things before I'm going to record them because I know they're going to change in studio and and always for the better. Well, death is is kind of a we've the the album yeah the album finishes with a with a really upbeat song about decomposition and you know I I, I it's one of my little things about compost I'd I'd like to be composted after I die you know because it's meant to be very environmentally friendly and everything like that and you know the whole thing of being enclosed in a in a coffin just makes me feel claustrophobic already and then the. The thing about being, you know, cremation is apparently really bad for the environment because it releases all sorts of gases and <laughs> things that aren't good. So, so yeah, so so I wrote this song called Break, Break Me Down, which is, you know, about, 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 you know, death and decomposition and things like that. And then what was kind of wonderful is Michael came up with the idea of having kind of an extended fade out at the end. Uh, which is kind of new for me. I've never had a fade out in an album before, and uh, and 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 having that be himself and myself kind of both playing guitars and kind of playing off each other, and um, and so it's it's basically a breakdown. So the song is called "Break Me Down." It ends with a breakdown, which is appropriate. <laughs>
that we chose to be the first single on the new album is called The Tug of the Moon, and it was inspired by the leap second that we had there at the end of uh, 2016. Because the moon exerts a gravitational pull on the earth, which causes the tides, amongst other things, and uh, that also is gradually slowing down the earth's rotation every year. It, it, it slows down a little bit more and so in order to keep the earth's rotation in sync with our atomic clocks we have to add an extra second every now and again and i just thought the whole thing was kind of a wonderful metaphor so i wound up writing a song about it we commissioned um the wonderful morgan lewis who's also done this documentary to to shoot the video and he was absolutely fantastic he was the best crowd wrangler I've ever come across as a, as a videographer. He was just fantastic at getting the audience to kind of relax and enjoy themselves. And you know, he'd have them up dancing sometimes, and then he'd tell them to get a little bit affectionate and kissy. And then he'd tell them they could take a break and just sit at the tables and chat with each other. And, and meanwhile, he'd be going around filming and, and they, they clearly he did it subtly enough that they, they were totally unaware that he was doing it and we, we got some, some wonderful moments like there's a bit where one guy just kind of throws his head back and laughs right at the start of the video it's, it's fantastic, it just kind of, kind of makes it we decided to do a video uh, that takes place on New Year's Eve because that's when the, new, the leap second was inserted just before midnight on New Year's Eve and we, uh, we rented out our local village hall and we invited an audience of dancers, people to come and pretend to be people at a New Year's Eve party up dancing. But then of course we decided we needed to have a moon. So I've got this lovely friend, Sarah Turner, and uh, I commissioned her to make me a moon. And night becomes day We count up the Thing. She writes beautifully, I think. Some of these songs are so finely crafted that it's a pleasure to do. Them. 